June 1st. You know, it's been a while. Been, been prepping for the for this season. Um, anyways, I've been flushing this uh, sour diesel for about two, three weeks. As you can tell, she's really yellowing off. So, you know, obviously she, she doesn't have anything really left in her, no more nitrogen, no more, and basically, hopefully, no more, uh, you know, food. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, she's, uh, she's been doing really good. Um, obviously, like I said, she doesn't look her best right now because I've been flushing her. And when you flush, you do want to see yellowing and... Even before that, I usually get a little bit of yellowing, uh, middle to the end of flower, which is, uh, something I've been actually kind of experiencing, I guess, ever since I've been, uh, growing. I mean, I'm not going to say that, uh, you know, it's a good thing, but, uh, I mean, technically, by the way everything comes out, in my opinion at least, it's not a bad thing either, but, um, you know, I do run organic, so basically, uh, you're going to see some yellowing, Actually, well, you know, from what I heard and my experience also. Um, anyways, I'll just be, give you guys some quick little butt shots. It's really bright out here. It's been like 80 degree days. It's feeling like summer now. I'm trying to get some focus for you guys. Hold on, let me just... see my damn self before I can get the camera to focus. So yeah, she's really dense. Fairly frosty, not the frostiest strain, but um, nice size trichomes, you can pretty much see them, but uh, then again, they aren't huge either. Um, as you can tell, though, she has some weight to her. Just give her a little push. Kind of got them tied up against these uh, stakes and shit. But, uh, yeah. So I I've actually been showing you guys this one. Uh, I haven't been posting the videos lately, but, um, in, like, the, probably my previous videos, the last one or the one before that, um, I know I showed you guys the diesels, and this was, this was that one, I think that, and she's all bud now. either three or four O's, um, OZs that is, um, you know, it's probably what she will do, I have actually, uh, I've been using, or, you know, I mean, I ran the organics on her, obviously, making my, uh, actively aerated compost teas, but, um, about, mm, I'm not sure, sometime in veg, too, I use, I started using some synthetic newts, um, that some of my boys use, and, uh, you know, I've seen their results, um, they run the hydro, and I, I ran the, the, the soil line for that, the same, uh, brand, some, some Canada company, I'm not sure, but, um, anyways, my point is, uh, I just wanted to see, you know, how she took that, um, on top of the organics, I kind of just switched her over, but not, you know, not completely, I did a little bit of both, I gave her, still gave her making teas, you know, the organic teas, and then also, doing the synthetics and, you know, I mean, she came out a lot denser than a lot of my organic shit comes out, but, I mean, I have to see on the flavor and taste wise, but she, she smells beautiful, she smells like, obviously, a real sour diesel, but, um, 
on the sour and on the easily side. She's got a little bit of sweetness to her too, which is usually what I get with my organics. Some type of fruitiness always comes out. Okay, now these two, got them in the shade. These two are also diesels. They, these are all the same cut of diesel. I just didn't clean these up as much. And like I said, uh, these are in the previous video also. One of the last two. These were those diesels that I uh, took a bunch of cuts off of and then I decided to flower. So they were mother plants for a very short period of time, maybe two months or so. Only took about 20 cuts off of each of them, each of these two, if that. But, um, mm. Really, really nice um, bud development on this diesel. It's a cut I got from one of my boys. And I still got it around. I made, saved a couple cuts from these and, uh, you know, we'll be running those for sure outdoors. So yeah, these ones I've been doing mostly organic, you know, making the teas that I always have been doing. And as you can tell, the the crystals, like the THC production looks a little more, a little more extra. I don't know how to really explain it, but it's there a lot, a lot visible, a little more visible. That is, I think it's dried bird shit because it ain't no mildew. Let's see if those mildew would wipe off. Whatever. But, uh, let me just do a couple more bud shots and I'll be doing post weekly now. And now that I got a lot of stuff out of the way that I needed to do. She got a little spider. These stone. Little man is stone. Anyways. Let's go fresh out of the pool. <coughs> Um, I'm not sure exactly how far these are in, but uh, obviously at least a month, you know, four weeks for sure, four or five weeks. I got it uh, inside of my log, but, uh, you know, memory's kind of bad. Beautiful sights though, right? I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. So, you know, kind of doing comparisons, organic and then synthetic over there. But that's organic and synthetic, and these are mostly organic. I might have used that synthetic veg nude on them like once, but, you know, that doesn't really, I don't know, in my opinion, it doesn't count all the way, you know what I mean? Because it's only for like one feeding out of fucking many, and many waterings in between the feedings. So. I might as well just show you guys everything. So over here, these um, plants uh, got a little, a little stressed out somehow. I'm not sure, but as you can see, they had some weird leaf, leaf burn going on. I. I don't know, it probably was I switched newts on them, you know, I switched from organic to the synthetic, and uh, I don't think they like that. <clears throat> you know, also on top of that, I, didn't, I, don't, I don't know if I, can't remember if I hardened, hardened them off before I took them out. I mean, I might have did it for a day, but you know, you obviously want to do it for longer than that. 
but uh, we'll start off with the uh, right here. This is the platinum bubble kush. Kush. Um, obviously, I nursed her back to health, and no, that's not spider my weapon right there. If you guys can see that, it's a spider web. Actually. I don't collect spiders, but any spiders I find around my plants or, you know, anywhere in the garden, I'll just, you know, pick them up, put them on my plant. You know, that natural defense. Oh, yeah, she's looking good now. She's like, speaking of the devil right there. You see him? Told you it's not a spider mite. Here goes my proof. Soldier, yeah, these little jumping—they look like baby tarantulas, but you know they—they're really small, so obviously they're not gonna hurt you. They just skim through the whole plant, looking for little bugs, and he jumps leaf to leaf. Hey, that's a dope shot I just got right there. Some GoPro shit on the droid. Catch the little man slipping underboard. <sighs> Anyways, I'm bad. I'm fucking walk it over here, fucking around. Never a bad thing though. So yeah, like I said, they got burned a little bit. She got burned. So right now, this is Platinum Bubba. Not expecting much of a yield from her, more it's just personal meds, all this, all these things. Next we have White Fire Alien, which is the white cross with Fire OG, cross with Alien OG. She's looking a little more happy. The hairs on her are fucking ridiculous. Look at these. What kind of shit? Frost. I think all the frost is coming out of the white. The you know from the white, and uh, or that I mean, if you know the the traits from the white. Um, and I don't know about the hairs, but uh, she's also got that cush look to her. Obviously, big broad leaves. Um, so there's obviously some traits of the OGs in there, also. Very frosty, healthy, happy. Using all organic on them now, and like I said, you know, you gotta try new things sometimes. At least that's how I feel. So I gave it a shot with the synthetics, and uh, I didn't really like it. <clears throat> I just think the the ones that I actually chose to use, they weren't they weren't the best. Uh, I mean, they're good, but they they're not the best if you're uh, you know really in the garden all the time, caring about your plants. I don't think. It's the one you want to be using. I think it's more for uh, commercial growers because it burned some of my plants. But, uh, you know, as you can tell by that diesel back there, she's really big and dense. So we'll see how the yield goes on that, you know. Um, so I'm not, I'm not mad. Um, shit happens. So, yeah, that was uh, White Fire Alien. small pot, so give them a break. Next, we have Chem Band, which is Chem Dog crossed with Headband. She's looking beautiful. You will see some old burns, you know, obviously, but all the new growth is beautiful. Had to treat her with organics and stop playing around, you know what I mean? Starting to get a little pink hairs going too, like last year on the Harlequin. Not sure what the fuck that really means, but uh, obviously it's not a bad thing. I think that just means your plant's like fucking happy as can be. Some of those look a little pink. Gotta really find a good little section. Yeah, 
So like I said, this is chem dog crossed with head headband. I'm not sure what chem dog. structure to her. There's teeth and indica going on. It's nice bushy, but straight forward. It's got that conical shape going on like the Christmas tree. Look at those hairs right there at the top. Doing a move and hey, get some. Where's my one? My I know this video is getting kind of long, but yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. So I'll be putting two in here, two in here. I was just working all this morning. Yesterday, been wheelbarrowing loads all day, or all morning, all last night. So, I'm pretty sure, yeah, she's nine foot long, three foot wide, and about two feet deep. So, we'll see how um, three plants like that, that, uh, that root space. This so last year, I had four in this one, and uh, she's a little shorter, obviously. Holes, uh, sandy loam, uh, composted, aged chicken manure, um, some other, you know, good, like, organic, you know, based stuff, and, uh, uh, this year I got that again, and then a yard of that, and then a yard of, uh, the, what was it called? It's not the super mix, but the, um, probably super blend, which is, you know, He's got lava rocks, those red lava rocks, and some extra other little bonus things in there that are also very good, but um, it comes packed with chicken manure, as you can see once you dig into it, it gets really, it's still moist, still hot, a little stink, a little hot still, but, you know, got some sulfur in there. It's nine foot long, three foot wide, two feet deep. So yeah, last year I put four in there. And now I'm going to put two in there. Three in here. So like one right here. One right here. Uh, one right there. Um, you know, I'm sure I could get by with four, but I'm trying to let them get big. And then I'll have two smart pots out over here or something, a couple of them. And all of these will be gone. And well, you know, I'll be staying under my limits, which is what I'm trying to do. Um, I think I'm just going in uh, by myself. I mean, I, you know, that's what I always do, but sometimes, you know, you can get other patients and uh, their scripts. But, I don't know, we'll see how that goes this year. I'm a one-man team, so I might want to try less plants, but go for bigger. So, see how that goes. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Appreciate those who are watching. Sorry about the the hold up on the updates. It's been getting hectic. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys the temp so you guys can see what I'm dealing with out here. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna push it on you right now. Just like 